Good afternoon YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I wanted to do an ant plant update and um, just go through it really quick with you before we get to the main plant there. I want to show you some of my collection. It's doing quite well. These are my Myrmacodias. Um, I think I like these guys the best. I don't know why. They're, they got nice sort of tuberous bases and big healthy looking leaves. Um, what else do we got here? This is just, there's my Myrmacodia spiny pink fruit. It's kind of different looking. Uh, here's some different ant plants here. I just got these. So they're just starting to grow like their first leaf up there. They actually lost a, a couple leaves, but they're starting to grow back now. And some ant ferns. Another ant fern in there. Ant ferns are kind of neat because of this um, funny growth, the way they kind of creep along there. It looks kind of cool. I like their growth. But I have two ant ferns. There is another ant plant. Here's another Myrmacodia down here. So these guys, they're all on the warm side of the greenhouse. They get plenty of humidity. It's usually about 95% humidity in here. Um, just looking at the thermometer right now, it's just over 80 Fahrenheit or about 27 Celsius on this side of the greenhouse. Plenty of airflow. Uh, the sun's coming out, so it's pretty bright in here. These guys are facing south. They're not on the south wall, but they're facing south anyways. But the guy I wanted to um, bring down today was this guy way up here. We're going to have some backlighting, sorry about that. But he has got, she has got some fruit on her. So today I wanted to plant some ant plant seeds with you guys and show you how that's done. Sorry about the jiggly camera here. I'll put you in the tripod when I bring this guy down. But yeah, this is my biggest one. And it's produced berries before and we're going to pick the berries, get the seeds out and sow the seeds. And then I will show you guys what um, some seeds look like once they've germinated into little sprouts, into ant, baby ant plants. So let's get started on this. Okay, I brought you guys down to the table so we can work. You're in a tripod now, so you're stable. So this is the plant. It does have ants living in it. I have showed you guys the ants in different videos. I don't know if we're going to um, get to see them again. But they are kicking around, so you may see some ants. But um, we're focused on the berries. So these berries here, they basically come out of nowhere. I check these plants every second day or so for berries, this plant anyways, because it's like they're not there and then all of a sudden the berries are there. And so in the wild, I guess, these berries look very, very delicious to birds and the birds eat them and then poop out the berry seeds somewhere else and potentially new ant plants start to grow. So today we have two berries we're going to harvest and we're going to get the seeds out of them and yeah, we'll sow some up and go from there. So you can actually see the seeds inside the berries already. And they're going to be, they come up very, very easily. So why don't we start with this one? These guys I noticed yesterday and decided before I just sow them, I'm going to do a video. I've never actually missed the berries before. I don't know how long they would stay like this, but you can, and they don't produce more seeds if you leave them on longer. The seeds are sort of in there. So I'm getting my paper towel ready just sort of in the background while you're looking at the seeds putting that down just a clean piece of paper towel and removing the seeds is very easy they're berries so you're just going to grab it and pull 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 and there we go we have it out i'm going to put that on the paper towel and before i do the other one i'll just show you the tag this is a myrmacodia uh, marta armada sorry so that is what um species we have today I have only sown seeds from this species. I assume most of the Myrmacodias anyways are the same, but um, I would assume most of the ant plants are the same. We're gonna pull this other berry out right here and they come up super easily. They just pull straight out. And there we go. I'm gonna put those down on the table there and zoom you back out. So now we have successfully harvested the berries from them and they're sitting there on that paper towel. So let me move the plant out of the way, and then we can continue working. I'll put that guy over there. And we'll move these more into the middle here. The next process is extracting the seeds from the berries, which is very easy to do. They usually have somewhere between one and five seeds per berry, with two to three being on average, I think. There they are there. Hopefully they'll stay in focus. 
and the the end is already open so all you're doing is literally squeezing them out and that is two of them there I'm going to after I squeeze these ones out get a little bit of a work tool for us I like to use tweezers for these guys so we'll squirt those ones out too that one had a lot more in so one had two and the other had several I'll be right back I'm just gonna get a pair of tweezers Okay, so I'm back with some tweezers. The reason I use tweezers, I don't like to touch anything. I like to keep everything as sterile as I possibly can. And I mean, just just your fingers. I, I don't know. It's probably fine to touch them. So I'm going to get rid of these. We're working on quite zoomed in. Those These are empty now. Are you going to zoom in? Are you going to focus? There we go. So these flowers, I don't even know when these were flowers. They were, it was like six months ago probably that those flowers... We're there. Flowers are little tiny white, somewhat insignificant little things. And yeah, the ants pollinate them. I think they actually self-pollinate anyways. So it looks like we got two there. And a couple little um, shards that didn't develop into anything. It looked like there was some the potential for other seeds there. But yeah, the flowers, um, they're pretty insignificant. They self-pollinate, or in this case, they pollinate by ants. And so what I have done in the past, which works just fine for me as I spread them out a little bit and I'm just trying to clean up some of that goop so we ended up with one two three four five six seven seeds not too many but um, nothing to nothing to shake a stick at either I don't know if that's actually a term shake a stick but we're using it today so they're fairly slimy some of them are stuck to the other paper towel this is why I have the other pair of tweezers now so I can just um, herd them back down I'm just trying to remove this, the berry slime. I would suspect that it would impede germination. There we go. And fold them over again. Remove a little bit more of that berry slime. I don't know how you would actually ship these seeds. They germinate so fast that um, they would germinate in transit. It would just be crazy. So, I'm ever so gently, just kind of using their residual slime that's on them to move them around. I don't want to crush them with the tweezers too much. Make sure you're still in focus there. We're really focused in on these little seeds. So now we have the seeds ready to go. And we will pull the camera back a little bit. And so I don't lose these, I'm going to slide them over here. I have already prepared a mixture for it now I showed the bottom of the mixture first so or as well we got a mixture of perlite orchid bark and moss and then I have chopped up just some fine moss that I'm going to cover the top with just so they have some some good surface um, penetration sort of thing or surface I don't know what the word would be contact that's what I'm looking for contact so there we go good surface contact and then it's just a matter of getting these seeds over there. And we like to spread them out. So I'm going to put one here. And I got two there. So I'm going to move one of these guys. Three. So we got a row of three. I'll do one in the middle. And then another row of three. Why not? go. This germination rate on these guys is almost 100%. I think um, it's probably 95% anyways, especially with these ones. They look pretty good. I'm just going to use the other end of the tweezers and just touch them down a little bit into the media so they have that good surface contact. Oops, I'm picking them up instead. They still have that little bit of that slime from in the berry on them. Spread them back out. Never goes as smooth when you're on camera, right? There we go. Spread them back out, touch them down. Guess I'm going to use the pointy end. And there we go. The only thing I'm going to do off camera is give these guys a good shot of water. And then I put them back on the warm side and they germinate under lights. Nighttime temperatures are 20 or 68 degrees and daytime temperatures are um, up to 30 Celsius, 80, 83, 85 degrees. And they germinate, as I say, within 24 to 48 hours. 
So I just got to write a tag for them and then put them there. What I'm going to show you now, these are some other ones I have on the go. So we can see two different stages here. They're cute little guys. So the first ones were November 28th, December, January, February, March. So they're four months old. One's got a second pair of leaves. They're a few inches high. And then you can see some other seedlings germinating around it that I put in not too long ago at all, maybe two, three weeks ago. And so I got a bunch in here germinating away. And yeah, they're a happy little sort of compot of two different size Myrmicodia ant plants. But anyways, it's surprisingly simple. It was it was amazing to see them germinating so fast. And once they're germinating, I throw a few little osmocote pellets in there for some nutrients. Um, I think there's only two in there. I'll probably put a couple more in here looking at it now. But yeah, that is how I sow my ant plant seeds, how I germinate them under lights, talked about the temperature, and they just sort of, they're easy to grow. I, I was amazed. I'm so used to Nepenthe seeds that take months and months and months and months and months to germinate, like three months sometimes, sometimes more. And so to see these guys have instant results in 24 to 48 hours and then be three inches high in just a few months, it's just amazing to see. So anyway, that's enough of my rambling for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you found it interesting. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching.